Hey guys, this is a short vlog showing you three meals that I ate in Jamaica on holiday with my family as a vegetarian. And I've created this vlog because I get a lot of questions as to how I navigate not eating meat whilst I'm away, especially if we're going to a country that the cuisine is predominantly focused on meat. I hope it's also helpful for the newbie vegetarians as I once was and you're thinking about going on holiday but maybe don't know how you're going to tackle that buffet or all the food options that are focused on meat. But let's head to the buffet, we're all feeling hungry, let's see what they've got on offer for my meat eating family and a vegetarian like me. So for my main, I had some crispy potatoes, which actually looks like crisps. They're quite tasty. They had garlic and rosemary infused in them. I had mashed potatoes. I had carrots, which had fresh thyme and herbs, and they were quite buttery and garlicky. I had some red cabbage and the stewed lentils were really tasty. And um, the cabbage was a bit difficult to pick up, but I think I picked some of the bits that um, where it was like the outer part of the cabbage so it's a bit hard but outside of that it was quite tasty and what I really liked was that the green beans were sauteed in onions and garlic so if you have followed some of my recipes you'll see that I really love uh, cooking my vegetables with onions and garlic and fresh thyme it just gives it a nice flavour and I've pretty much finished all the food I didn't really want to eat too many of the crisps and mashed potato because just too many carbs before I go into my salad. So I got absolutely addicted to shredded cabbage and shredded carrots. Oh my goodness, I absolutely loved how fresh it tasted. Um, you could see someone put a lot of effort into that. They probably used a machine, but I could just taste the labor of love in it. Um, I think because I love coleslaw anyway, that this, those two ingredients in my salad just made me very, very happy. So every day I tend to have a massive salad consisting of cabbage, carrots, sliced cucumber. I would then have some steamed vegetables. Today it was asparagus and then boiled egg for extra protein. I would then put pour olive oil onto it and then I would mix like mayonnaise or a Caesar dressing. Also my salad, I'd add sweet corn and then yep. some lettuce leaves, depending on what they look like. And then I'd add tomato as well. If we've got to the buffet quite late, I find that the ingredients are kind of look a bit messy. And for me, I eat through my eyes as well as my taste buds. So I need my food to look pretty. There was always a good selection of olives. I don't think many people liked olives that were staying at this hotel. So it meant there was more for me and they were less tampered with, which I like. On my salad, I also like to put olive oil and maybe a Caesar dressing with a little bit of mayonnaise. That just makes it more satisfying and tastes good so and my food needs to be pretty and it needs to be flavorsome i don't really focus too much on calories um especially when you're eating whole foods as well you don't really need to count calories or consider calories in the same way because your body's able to process it and digest it more easily than having processed food so yeah this was delicious one thing about being a vegetarian and primarily eating whole foods i don't eat many processed foods um, is that the feel that you get from this type of diet is very different to one of which is like high in carbs or you know incorporates processed foods including like the the meat alternatives i don't tend to really have those um so you feel full but i feel like it's more water-based because i have so many vegetables and salad um the feel i get is water-based so it doesn't necessarily last as long as it would if i had like meat because obviously i've eaten meat in the past so i know the difference to how full i feel but this salad i would have to give it a nine out of ten it was giving satisfaction and i do eat a lot of beans and pulses but there's the same sort of feeling i never feel as full as i did when i ate meat but i'm not going back the asparagus tonight was cooked to perfection so i even went up for seconds which i didn't show you guys but it was delicious just perfectly crunchy and asparagus is actually one of my favorite veggies how about you guys now it's dessert time so on the menu are these gigantic chocolate chip cookies and a brownie the chocolate chip cookies taste like they're fresh out of the oven they're crunchy and moist not too sweet couldn't really taste the chocolate chips that much so i guess maybe it's the quality of the chocolate they use but that said they were still delicious they had like a coconutty taste as well which i absolutely love i'm a huge coconut fan now the chocolate brownie was not much of a hit to me um, it was just lacking flavour, lacking density. Um, yeah, it was a no, so I just didn't eat much more of that. But as you can see, I love the cookies. And that brings this meal to a close. Let's get eating again. 
So today we had the Italian booked in the hotel and we didn't want to be late for our table. So Renee and I were ready. So we rushed downstairs just to make sure we didn't lose our table. There were limited options for me as a vegetarian. So I opted for a cream-based pasta and the kids ordered lasagna. Craig ordered a pan-fried salmon with prawns and broccoli. And I hate to say it, the food was not good. So we actually ended up leaving majority of it besides this yummy tiramisu. And I think I loved it because I could taste condensed milk or evaporated milk in it. It was so creamy and delicious. But despite that, we actually ended up back at the buffet. My fully loaded salad, all the cabbage and lettuce leaves. They also had fried plantain, veggie patty, guacamole and a mixture of steamed veg. For meal number three, I'm taking you outside the resort to Miss T's Kitchen, Nacherios. I opted for a chickpea curry because I didn't have my first choice of aki. Overall, I'd rate it six out of 10. It just lacked a bit of flavor for me. I needed to taste more cream coconut, scotch bonnet. You know the spices, it just needed more oomph. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.